for a while in my lab, we've been working on uh, studying the role of haptic feedback for uh, use in dexterous tasks, so uh, tasks that an amputee might want to do with an advanced prosthetic hand. But we've never had the hardware to work with. We've been limited to using simple grippers or virtual environments to replicate that experience. But we've been developing these different kinds of haptic feedback modalities over the past couple of years. At a recent conference, we had some in-depth meetings with a team from University of Pisa and talked about the opportunity of bringing together the technology of the prosthetic hand that they've developed with our haptic feedback devices. And from that, we were able to, to host Eduardo Bataglia as a visiting PhD student here at Rice and working together with one of my graduate students, Janelle Clark. Uh, we were able to put this whole experimental setup together and really do this uh, evaluation of the role of haptic feedback with this advanced hand uh, and especially uh, most important testing with transradial amputees. People that uh, use a prosthetic hand would like to be able to feel with their hands like if they were their own, like we do with our hands. So for this reason, uh, we are uh, working on integrating this haptic uh, feedback device that is able to tell you how open and close the hand is, so you can feel the end movement on your arm. So haptic feedback kind of refers to anything having to do with the sense of touch. So we're creating sensations on the skin using the sense of touch in other areas of the body as a replacement for the sense of touch in the hand. And so there's certain mappings from one source of feedback or one sort of stimulus to a aspect of the prosthetic hand. In this case, it's how open and closed it is, referring to the rotation of a skin stretch device. And so this is set on the arm and it rotates to different degrees showing you the extent that the hand is open. One of the things that makes the research that we do in the Mahi Lab unique is that we involve end users from the very beginning, from the design and concept stage all the way to testing uh, and evaluation of our systems. And we're able to, with our close collaborations in the medical center, have those interactions with the end users, with the physical therapists and the doctors, all the way through our design and evaluation process. And what's really rewarding is to be able to bring them in at the end and, and not just see sort of the scientific results of the experiments, but see their uh, emotional reaction to having these uh, capabilities and being able to work with the technology.